everybody and welcome to another phonics session and today we are going to be reviewing the phoneme A but before we do let's have a look at our letter names so are you ready to call out the letter names okay what's the letter name P what's the letter name S what's the letter name D what's the letter name X What's the letter name? T. And what's the letter name? O. What's the letter name? H. And let's have one more. What's the letter name? U. Well done. Okay. Now I've given these a bit of a muddle up. So we are now ready to have a go at our phonics. So are you ready to say the flashcards out loud? Here we go. W as in web, O as in goat, ng as in ring, qu as in queen, a as in aim, e as in happy, nk as in ink, j as in bridge, i as in cry, as in glove, x as in ducks, e as in eel, i as in night, j as in jug, v as in this, th as in thumb, sh as in ship, x as in fox, as in hatch, z as in buzz, y as in yo-yo, z as in zip, v as in van, w as in wheel, ch as in chick, w as in web. Fantastic, well done everybody. Gosh, there's a lot there, isn't there? Okay, so now let's have a little look at phoning. Now, this one was in the pack because I've got two of them, but we're going to have a practice at it together first. So let's have a look at it first. It is two letters, one sound, which is a digraph. Okay, two little letters. The digraph A is made up of the letters A and I. Okay, so I say, you say, A, A. Aim. A as in aim. Well done. Okay, let's have a look on the board and see if we can listen to it on here. Are you ready? Here we go. A. 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 Aim. Aim. A. A. Aim. Aim. Done. I've got to pop that there and we'll have a little look at some of the words that we're going to blend for reading. So, reading fingers ready? Are we ready? Okay, let's go. R, A, N, rain. R, A, N, rain. Oh, it's very rainy there, isn't it? Ready? N, A, O, nail. N A O nail. Ah, there we go. And it's the nail that you hammer in, isn't it? Unlike these ones, which are nails on your fingers. Okay, ready? P A D paid. P A D paid. Okay, and there we are. Dad paid for his plants. If we hear the word paid, it's a past tense. Pay is the present tense. Remember we talked about past tense just before we closed. So it was that if we pay for something, we are doing it now. But dad did this in the past because it's already happened. So it's paid. Okay. P -a -d, paid. Next one. Ready? T -r -a -n, terrain. Train. T 
Or a A. Mm. Train. Very good. Train on a track. All right, well done, guys. Now, straight over to this side, because now we're going to segment the words. So we're going to listen to the word, say the word, break it up, segment it, so we know which sounds we need to spell it. Are we ready? Listening. Tail. Tail. T. A. O. Tail. First grapheme on the board. T. T. A. A. O. O. Okay, read it back to check. T. A. O. Tail. Next one. Wait. Wait. Ready? Say the word again. Wait. W. A. T. Wait. First grapheme. W. W. A. A. T. T. Okay, read it back. W. A. T. Wait. Just listen to that. Wait. Yeah. Need to check it. Ready? Now you'll see this is a bit of a diagram because it is pointing at a part on this ship. Do you know what that is on there that it's pointed to? That's right. Sail. Sail. Okay, say the word again. Sail. Sound it out. A. O. Sail. Okay, first grapheme on the board. S. Followed by A, the diagram. A. S. A. O. O. Okay, read it back. S. A. O. Sail. Sail. Brilliant. Oh, there's another one yet. Ready? Mail. Mail, which is how we talk about all the letters and cards and everything that comes through the post from the postman is the mail. Okay? Mail. M. A. O. Mail. First sound. M. Mm. Followed by. A. Finally. O. All again. Let's read it back. M. A. O. Mail. Mail. Wonderful. Okay, there we go then. So we're going to have another little look then at the diagraph A. And we're going to have a look at how we are going to form it in the sky. So let's get it up. Here we go. So like I said, the diagraph A is made up of the two letters, the letter A and the letter I. And if we have a look, they both sit in the grass. So the two little letters, they're joined together. We don't write them separately, we join them together so we know that they are a diagraph. It's one sound, so that helps us. And if we look, most of it we stay on the page for, apart from when we do the eye, which we do right at the end. Okay, so starting on the line, we go round for the letter A, come back round onto the line, up, straight down, then go up again for the eye, down onto the line, flick and off, and then a diddy dot. Remember, just a little dot, not a big circle, not a football, diddy dot. Okay, let's have a look at it then. So, we go round, back on itself, up, down, up again the same height, down, flick, up and a dot. Okay, sharp on the finger pencils, we're going to do a big one now. <laughs> nice and sharp. So, starting on the line, we go round, back, up and down, and down, flick, off, and a dot. Okay? Fantastic. So, that's our A diagraph written. Remember that you have got your sheet to practice on, which we're going to have a little look at now. And if we have a little look at it together, we can see that there are three things down here that you can look at to see if you can hear where the A is. And they will be the snail, paintbrush and a train and then remember in this gap to think of something either one of these to draw again or something that else that you know has the a sound in it and then you can draw the picture and label it underneath as well we've got a few words up here to read as usual there's your letters to copy over and then underneath practice and keep on practicing and remember grown-ups you don't need to print these sheets out you can read them off the screen and then you can just practice with sheets of lined paper afterwards. Okay? 
Let's have a look, see if there's one there that we haven't read yet. Hmm. Ooh. Um, there's quite a few, isn't there? What about this one? Wuh. Oh, we did that one, actually, didn't we? We'll do this one and then we'll do that one. Wuh. A t. Wait. Which meant when we wait. Yes, we wait. Our turn. Okay. Oh, here's one next to it. I don't think we did this one. P. A. N. Pain. Which is when something hurts, like when we bump our knee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When we're in pain. Okay. So you can read through those. And with your grown-up, talk about what those words mean. Try and put them into a sentence, maybe. Okay, so you show that you understand what they mean. All right, now let's move on then and we're going to have a look before we finish today at our super sentence. So remind ourselves what are the seven signs of a super sentence. Oh my goodness, let's have a think. We need capital letter at the beginning. We need full stop or a punctuation mark at the end. Might be a full stop, might be an exclamation mark, might be a question mark, full stop. Finger spaces in between the words. Make sure we try our best to spell our keywords correctly. And we need to start on the line, stay on the line. Okay. Use our phonics so that we spell these words with the right words. Oh, this has moved again, hasn't it? Let's pop it there. Whoop. And then finally, try and make the most beautiful writing that we can as well. Okay. It's just a little bit too small for this, isn't it, today? I don't know why. Anyway, I think we can read that, can't we? So, fingers ready to read. Let's have a look at what this one says. The, mm, a, n, the main, ooh, the, ah, now, I can see we've already got a mistake, guys. Let's see if Mrs Fletcher can put it right before we carry on. Mrs Fletcher. Now, this does happen in class sometimes, doesn't it? There we go. I think that's better now. Should we try it again? Here we go. The maid made. The maid was paid. Paid. So the maid was paid to fix, fix the main main a all. Sale. The maid was paid to fix the main sale. Okay, so you can have a go at copying that. Draw a picture, have a chat with your grown ups about what you think the word made means. It's about when you make something. So I wonder whether you know what the word made means. I'm going to leave that so that you can think about that and maybe talk to your grown up about that one. Okay, and we know that a sale is on a boat and actually even though Mrs Fletcher made a little mistake it just shows doesn't it how important it is that you need to read really carefully and think about what you've written or what you've read okay so that you understand it so as I wrote that I had to listen to what I had read because I knew then that I'd made a mistake and that's why we have to always do what we say read back for sense so it makes sense because that didn't make sense. Okay, so maybe a good lesson in that mistake after all, which is really good because I've learned something there as well, haven't I? Okay, so remember you can do this one and then there's another one underneath to practice as well, another super sentence for you to have a go at. And then also remember that you've also now got your extension activity. Your handwriting children is coming along a treat. Lots of you are showing your handwriting to me on tapestry and I'm really, really impressed. It really shows that all that effort that you're making at home to keep on top of it is doing wonders and it doesn't hurt to keep practicing these sounds because they're all really important and you're gonna need them right through your life. So keep practicing those, okay? Um, it was lovely to speak to you all last week and um, I will carry on enjoying all your tapestry things and I hope to see you really, really soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.